Howdy TPDDL fans and happy What Wednesday. So um, if you're in those southeastern counties, I hope that you survived the storm and are starting to get your lives back to normal. Um, but like I told you last week, I promised to have something fun for you guys this week related to plant pathology. So I'm actually going to let uh, Megan, one of our other student workers, bring you the wet question this week. And so I hope you enjoy your information and I will let her take it away from here. Hey guys, happy Wet Wednesday. Today our question is, what is fusarium wilt? And so this is caused by a soil-borne pathogen, a fungal pathogen called fusarium oxysporum. Uh, what's interesting about this pathogen is, uh, you know, it infects a wide range of hosts, but it has a specific form for each different host it has. So um, it comes in all different forms, and we've seen it in several different um, plants in the lab recently and we're about to show you that. So recently in the lab, we have encountered fusarium on tomato, like as pictured here, watermelon, and cotton. Um, so it infects through wounds in the roots or near the crown area, and then it'll travel up the plant. And as it travels up, it plugs the vascular tissue, which causes uh, the leaves to wilt, and it also releases toxins, which causes um, the leaves to turn yellow or brown, and the vascular tissue will also turn brown. Um, other symptoms include stunting and death of the plant. And so we've seen them on uh, several different hosts in the lab recently, and as you can see on these culture plates, each form looks a little bit different. They have uh, different colors and different shapes and sizes. So unfortunately, there's no way to treat for this disease, but there are some preventative measures you can take. Um, this would include uh, being careful not to make any wounds near the crown or root area where the pathogen will enter. Um, you can also purchase uh, resistant varieties that have been specifically bred to be resistant to this disease. Um, and then you can also buy fungicidal seed treatments uh, that will help the seed um, resist the disease. Thanks Megan for all that great information on fusarium wilts. Uh, now I hope to see you back here next week because we have something different planned for you but uh, I will give you a hint. A test will be involved. What could it be? Bye!